We're keeping our eye on the price of gold as the state of the president's health remains unclear and election uncertainty continues. Let's talk about it. We're Grand Share CEO Will Ryan. Will, uh, always good to see you here. Uh, so listen, the, the stock market does not like uncertainty, but uh, the flip side of that, that is good for gold. Uh, what's your latest thinking on gold? Yeah, I think um, you know today we're seeing a move upwards in the price, and that's uh, positive. Obviously, falling on perhaps no surprise for people that follow the gold price um, with all the uncertainty around the president's health. But I think leaving aside that, it's more about stimulus. And I think in terms of the election, we can already declare one winner today, and that is stimulus. Irrespective of what happens in terms of who gets elected, I think that more stimulus is coming, and that's really what's underpinning the moving gold at the moment. Will, uh, talk to us in the, in the talk to us about the the near term price direction in gold. It's getting a, a bid today, sure, um, but do expect it to spike into the election. And then, what do the last few weeks after the election look like for gold? Yeah, there was a bit. Obviously, the price has declined um, from the the over two thousand highs that we saw you know months ago, and we tested that below nineteen hundred level, um, which we didn't go down there for, for really that long at all. And so, I think. 1900 seems to be that sort of resistance level uh, at the moment. Obviously, we're firmly above that at the moment. So I think leading up into election, we could easily breach $2,000 again. Um, and obviously, towards the end of the year, I think it could be higher than that. Willie Ness here. What happens to gold should more members of Trump's administration test positive for COVID-19? Or perhaps if members of uh, Biden's group were to test positive? I think um, going back to what Brian was saying, it's really all about the uncertainty because um, with more kind of senior leaders of uh, both administrations uh, getting sick, uh, that just creates uncertainty in terms of not just the immediate health consequences, but I think in terms of you know policy and potentially how um, they react uh, to that and whether it changes anything from their stance you know, vis-a-vis the, the the virus itself. So I think more uncertainty um, in terms of leaders getting sick, um, that's something that is almost guaranteed. Um, and I think from that perspective, uh, any more uncertainty means typically higher price. And what happens if there's a contested election? Well, again, I think that, you know, that's a, a huge question mark. And it's something that is kind of extraordinary to think about, um, that we could be in a situation where we don't know who the winner is um, for potentially um, up to a couple of months afterwards, um, which is kind of, a, a, again, another use of this most overused word of 2020, unprecedented, um, but an unprecedented situation. And so more uncertainty, I think that is helpful to gold um, because while there's that sort of you know vacuum of power, if you will, um, people will look to be more defensive, I think, and that means uh, buying gold. Well, are there other metals investors need to watch out for uh, on the thinking as gold spikes, these metals might also spike? I think the one I, I talk about most is platinum. Uh, the reason being is because the other metals, i.e. silver and palladium, have actually done very well um, this year. Uh, palladium is at or around kind of all-time highs. Um, the price of silver has gone up um, pretty significantly. But platinum is the one that's you know, trading still less than half the price of gold. Um, platinum for a long time used to trade above gold, uh, so it used to be a premium to the gold price, uh, but now less than half of the price of gold. And I think that the people looking for, for a metal that may represent value in the complex outside of gold, platinum may be, uh, may be one to look at. And I guess no surprise, Will, uh, over the weekend, Washington TV, just trying to stay updated on the news, starting to see a lot more silver coin commercials uh, pop up on TV because of, I, I suspect because of the uncertainty. How should investors go about trading what might be uh, a near-term spike in prices? Is it an ETF? Is it buying a couple thousand dollars worth of gold coins? How would you do it? Well, in terms of trading the price, um, I would say, and obviously I'm a little bit biased, but um, I would say the ETF is is 100% the way to go. Um, and the simple reason, because you can get in and out when you want, and it replicates the exact spot price of gold. Uh, if you buy coins, there's nothing wrong with buying coins, but you're going to pay a premium typically to the actual spot price to buy. And then obviously, if you come to sell, a discount. So they're not the most effective mechanism if you want to, to follow the spot price, uh, but certainly something very nice to have. All right, I'll leave it there. Granite Chair CEO, Will Ryan, always good to speak with you.
Thank you. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.